This content is for educational purposes only and is not medical advice. The content is provided for reference only and does not claim to be exhaustive or complete. Users should always consult with a qualified and licensed healthcare provider. Reliance on the content is solely at the user's risk. Log roll and full spinal immobilization. Full spine immobilization includes cervical spine immobilization and thoracolumbar spine immobilization. Immobilization stabilizes the bones to avoid further injury to the spine. Remember, immobilized patients cannot move normally and are at higher risk of airway blockage and pressure sore development. Monitor closely and do not leave the patient alone. Use the log roll technique to any person with a history of polytrauma or severe injury who is unconscious, or a patient that is conscious and has neck pain, spine tenderness, numbness, or weakness. Ask for help. At a minimum, you will need three people to perform the log roll or place a patient in spinal immobilization. Ask for assistance. Ideally, have one person at the head to hold the neck and two people to roll the patient. A fourth person will inspect the back. One person stands at the head of the bed and immobilizes the cervical spine. Place one hand under each shoulder with your thumbs facing up. Place your arms tightly next to the patient's ears to keep the neck in a straight line. Two assistants stand on the same side of the patient. Cross the arms of the patient across the chest. One person reaches across the patient and places one hand on the far shoulder and one hand on the far hip. The third person reaches across the patient and places one hand on the upper legs and the other on the patient's hip, forming a cross with the second assistant. The person at the head controls the neck and uses the one, two, three, roll command to lead the team and roll the patient onto their side. Examine the back, remove debris, manage back wounds as needed. Use the one, two, three, roll command to coordinate movement and roll the patient flat. Spinal immobilization for pregnant patients. Use the left lateral position for patients that are more than 20 weeks pregnant and require full spinal immobilization. Left lateral position prevents compression of the large internal vessels by the uterus, which can decrease blood return to the heart. Before immobilizing all patients, be sure there is no glass or debris on or under the patient's back. Immobilized patients must be checked regularly to avoid pressure point wounds. Spine boards should only be used to move patients. Leaving patients on spine boards for long periods of time can cause pressure sores. Remove patients from spine boards as soon as they arrive at the facility and can be placed flat.